Good. Want to take a moment out to respond to a comment that we had from our Ryan Pannone uh, podcast. Um, Ryan, unbelievable assistant coach, uh, now at the University of Alabama, but has been all around the world and just an extremely special talent in terms of the way he loves basketball and the way that he wants to share the game with others. Has a tremendous um, website that he uses where he puts on plays from our all again from all around the world. So he's a guy that I really wanted to get on our podcast because I just found that he was really fascinating and I appreciated how he was able to connect with the world through basketball. And so Russ Cole commented um, on this podcast. Number one, for, first of all, Russ Cole, thank you for taking the time to comment and to engage and for and for listening. Um, really proud of the work we're doing here. We're really trying to work at it and get better. Um, but one of the questions that that he brought up was, you know, referring to Nate Oates, you know, having all three assistants get high coaching head coaching jobs at the same time. If I've ever been in that situation, and I have not been in that particular situation as a head coach, um, but what I can speak on it is saying it's a really huge compliment for what he's been able to do at his time in Alabama. The level of interest that he's created nationally in Alabama basketball, a place that's traditionally been seen as a basketball place, really impressive. The level of recruits that they've been able to attract in a short amount of time, really impressive. And I think what kind of gets understated some is his ability to coach those players and to put them in a system that fits and that works. It's really beautiful to watch when you watch it with a coach's eye like I get a chance to do. You know, Brandon Miller will be one of the top players taken in the NBA draft this year. His ability to put Brandon in those different positions to be successful, really impressive. And he was able to allow the other players to continue to build their draft stock. So it's just a huge credit to Nate Oates and what he's been able to do. And anytime you give credit to the person who's standing up calling the plays, you recognize that there are a lot of people behind the scenes that maybe aren't getting the same recognition, and those would be the assistant coaches. Uh, Obviously, the work that they've been able to do and having chances to go on to become head coaches and to prove themselves in the interview process. Before they got to the interview process, They stepped up and did a great job as assistant coaches, helping NATOs put guys in the right positions, helping NATOs get the right guys to campus, and then having the daily conversations that are needed to allow the people to to be at their very best. A lot of things, a lot of times people don't recognize when you're working with highly motivated people, there's always an ego that exists. A lot of times the head coaches they are managing a lot of the egos, but the assistant coaches are doing the daily hard work with the people, the personalities, the circle around them. And so I, I haven't been in that situation before where all three of my uh, assistant coaches have gone to be head coaches. I did work at VCU, and we've got obviously a tremendous history under Shaka Smart of guys who've gone. I believe Shaka has the most uh, most uh, former assistants who are head coaches right now um, and he's had that for a few years so I recognize what it's like to be in the room at the very best I recognize looking at Alabama a year ago they had exactly that the very best one of the very best head coaches one of the very best assistant coaches rooms and you're going to see a lot of success when that happens um, I think it's going to continue because what he was able to do now in this offseason because of the success of the assistants that he had that had a chance to move on he's going to find highly motivated highly focused people to step in there and to keep moving Alabama basketball to the highest level. Nate's done an amazing job his entire career. I don't think that's going to slow down. Um, a big credit to uh, to Alabama for focusing on basketball. A big credit to Nate Oates. And again, Ryan, and, and again, Russ, thank you for taking the time to uh, to give a comment and to engage.